Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another Hero House Reviews. Very different one today, as we are not reviewing a figure, we are reviewing cards. That's right. I've had to pick up a Yu-Gi-Oh deck while I'm in good old England, because interesting situation has arisen where I've basically been challenged to a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, and, well, by a guy who's in the Yu-Gi-Oh Society at Bristol University, yes, they have a Yu-Gi-Oh Society at a fairly prominent university, make of that what you will. Now, I have some experience with Yu-Gi-Oh, I used to run a fairy deck that was pretty good, but unfortunately I didn't think to bring that with me to England because, well, not a, not, didn't really count it as a necessity, was not expecting this situation to arise. So basically I've had to go out and I've had to pick myself up another deck. Now, as I said, I used a fairy deck, and when I walked in, I saw this, which caught my eye because basically the staple card in this is the, what's his name, the Sacred Arch Air Knight Parshath, Parshath? Parshath. I don't know, how would you pronounce that? Now basically, when I had my old fairy deck, Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin, he was my boy, he was my linchpin card, that was, you know, that's what I'd bring out to end the duel. And basically they seem to have upgraded him during the time I've stopped playing. I mean, I copped out of the game basically as soon as they introduced like synchro monsters and all that sort of, you know, excess summoning because it was just getting far too hectic. But, you know, again, the guy I'm dueling clearly has been keeping up with this, so I'm, I'm gonna say he's going in with a very strong advantage, especially since he's, you know, had time to build himself a deck, and I'm basically just going with what I could purchase at a, you know, a week's notice. Um, now, obviously, I'm gonna have to change my standards around, because, obviously, can't review this bad boy for articulation, it's a pack of cards. Uh, Packaging-wise, nice package, like, it's got, you know, traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork and symbols. Would have been better if, you know, the people had stuck the price tag directly on top of the artwork. So, like, ugh, the main redeeming feature of the packaging. Uh, but, you know, hold your card securely, I guess, and it's got good and, you know, good artwork, and it tells you what exactly is inside. You know, the cards you're gonna get. That's, you know, more cool artwork. If that'll focus, there we go, unfortunately, I am trembling a bit, it is autumn in England, and it is fucking cold. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, got a nice little bit of text, feel the surge of radiance with structure deck, wave of light. Fairies are back in a big way, harnessing a bounty of wisdom to counter anything their flow throws at them. You get to make the final call on what resolves with structure deck, wave of light. This 41 card themed deck takes a popular counter trap fairy strategy to new heights. Alright, so after looking at all that and sort of covering the bases on why I have purchased this, let's crack her open, let's see if it can be opened easily. I don't see any tape already, this is not like how a figure does. I think they've just, yep, they've just stuck this cardboard down. They don't care about, you know reuse here, it's just you crack it open and it is done. Uh, it's not stuck down too hard fortunately, so that's fine. Don't think I'm going to be damaging the box too much with this opening. Ah, tricky to do this one-handed, as you can tell. Yep. Alright, well this is weird. They seem to have stuck the cards below some odd piece of cardboard that's just stuck there. Now, do I have to break that to get it out? Or, you know, do I have to do some other weird thing? Like, could I bend this down and flick it out that way? Let's see. It's easy. Alright, it's bent down. Will they come? Will they come? Yep, that's how you do it. That is how we do it. Oh no, they didn't have these in my day. You've got your cards on the front, 
Oh, some nice sort of holographic effect and what appears to be a very sad looking alien. His ship's crashed in the background. He's holographic, very depressed. Name is Eva. There's this fairy is sent to the graveyard. You can banish up to two other light fairy monsters from your field and or graveyard. Add the same number of level to a lower light fairy monster with different names from your deck to your hand. Alright, so since it's holographic, I assume he's a good card. Because it's a structure decks, you know, are based on sort of giving you decent decks that you can play straight out of the gate, you know, as soon as you purchase it. So let's get this wrapping off and I'll have a quick flick through the deck. Uh, oh, this is this is just sad. Um Okay, I'm gonna need scissors. I'll be back in a moment. All right, we're back. We have opened them up, and they seem to be pretty fancy. They looks like they put the holographic ones first. We've got Eva, and if we put Eva down, oh, that's that's the bad boy. That's the the sacred arch anite pass off. What can this bad boy do? Two thousand eight hundred. Not a huge attacker. You know, there are there are higher attack cards. If you activate a counter trap card, or if you negate the activation of a spell trap card, or monster effect, except during the damage step, you can banish two other fairy monsters from your hand, field, or graveyard. Special summon this card from the graveyard, if there was well, where you, you activate, negate it, or hand, even if If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can add one pass life card or counter trap from your deck to your hand. Alright, so, seems pretty powerful, not... As powerful I was expecting, if I'm being honest, but... No, yeah, okay, this deck seems to really revolve around negating people's, like, effects or trap cards. Which, you know, fair enough. Bad strategy. My old strategy basically revolved around cranking up your life points as high as possible, because that's how Neo Air Knight Pass Off works, basically. If they were in defense mode, you could still pierce through them and, you know, do damage. And you also did damage, his attack increased the higher your life points were than your opponent's. So, you know, he could do some real damage if you cranked up your life points high. So, I think he's in this deck. And, you know, I'm keen to use him if he is. This does seem to have a lot of the same cards as my old deck had in it. Which is good because it means when I get home, if I'm so inclined, I can just add this to my, you know, old deck and sort of mix and match and, you know, bolster with each other. Because I do have some friends back home and still play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, yeah, I can't really give this a, you know, score because I'm not sure where it stands in the current Yu-Gi-Oh! thing. I will after my upcoming duel, I suppose. Um, but beyond that, nice artwork, good cards from what I can tell. I'm pleased to find it. Good price, like eight pounds. Like this would cost you like twenty bucks back home in Australia. So I think Yu-Gi-Oh cards are much cheaper here, and additionally, like it's much more catered to than it is back home. But a lot of things are in England. Like interesting things, like Warhammer's huge here. Um, Magic: The Gathering is massive. It might just be the city of Bristol, which is you know quite a don't use the word edgy because I don't think you can really call a place that loves Yu-Gi-Oh edgy. But you know, quite accommodating to that sort of interest pool but um yeah i'm pleased with the purchase i'll let you know how the duel ends up going and yeah wish you all the best and we'll catch up with you next time thanks for watching and if you want to head over to the other side of the channel and watch our other show hero house again we don't have action figures in this review so i can't do my usual tagline so uh, just enjoy the show and go over and have a watch thank you see you next time